what about if both M and N are even and they are equal to each other? So what we are going to do is this. We will be needing the identity sine of 2 theta is simply 2 sine theta cosine of theta. So, take note that with this identity, the product of sine theta and cosine theta is going to be equal to sine 2 theta over 2, right? So, this is sine of 2 theta over 2 or 1 half of sine 2 theta. So, how will it solve this situation? So, what we are going to do is this. This is going to be equal to the integral of, take note this will be sine x, cosine of x to the fourth dx. The product of sine and cosine is the same as one half sine of twice the angle. So this is going to be equal to the integral of, this is going to be sine of 2x over over 2 to the fourth dx. So what will happen is this will just be a power of sine without the cosine, right? So this is going to be 1 half to the fourth. This is 1. 2 to the fourth is 16 integral of sine of 2x to the fourth d x and how do we integrate power of sine alone where the power is even so we will be using this identity so this is the same as 1 over 16 integral of sine of 2x to the fourth is the same as sine squared of 2x to the 2 dx. But what is sine squared of 2x? Sine squared of theta, take note, is 1 minus cosine twice this angle over 2. So this is going to be 1 over 16 integral of. If this is your theta, then sine squared of theta is going to be 1 minus cosine 2 theta 1 minus cosine of 2 theta 2 times 2x 4x over over 2. So the intention of the use of this is to reduce the exponent. Now we just have an exponent of 2. Okay? So we will just expand this. So therefore we will have this as 2 squared is 4, 4 times 16 is 64. This becomes 1 over 64 integral of 1 minus cosine 4x squared, the square of a binomial is the square of the first, 1 squared, minus twice their product, 1 times cosine 4x is 2 cosine of 4x plus square of the second. So, this would be cosine of 4x squared or cosine squared 4x dx, right? So, this is going to be 1 over 64. Integral of 1 dx is x minus 2 over 64. Integral of cosine 4x, what is integral of cosine 4x? Let me write it here so that it will be clear to you. Integral of cosine 4x dx plus integral of 1 over 64 integral of cosine squared 4x. So this time, it is now even power. If this is theta, what is cosine squared of theta? Cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. So this is going to be 1 plus cosine 2 theta 
cosine twice of theta twice of 4x, 8x over 2. That is cosine squared 4x. Okay? Dx. So let us uh, do this one. If this is cosine 4x, it requires 4dx, right? Multiply by 4, multiply the denominator also by 4. Or integral of cosine mx dx is what? Sine mx over m, right? m is 4, right? So therefore, this is going to be 1 over 64 of x minus this is going to be 1 over 128 integral of cosine 4x times 4dx this is going to be sine of 4x because this is cosine u du okay or that is sine of 4x over 4 you get it so plus 1 over 64 times 2 1 over 128 integral of 1 dx that is x correct plus integral of cosine 8x dx is simply sine 8x over over 8 plus c you get it so therefore what we will be having here is going to be 1 over 64x plus 1 over 128x, we can combine them. This is the same as 2 over 1 to 8. So what we will have will be 3 over 1 to 8 of x minus 1 over 1 to 8 sine of 4x plus this is going to be 1 to 8 times 8. This is 1 over 10, 24 sine of 8x plus c. This is going to be the integral of this. You get it? What about this case wherein both are even but they are not equal to each other? How do we handle this? We can handle this in this manner. So I can write this as integral of sine to the fourth of x cosine to the fourth of x sine squared of x dx because sine squared times sine to the fourth is sine to the six so i just took sine squared here so that the exponent of this and this will be the same just like in our previous problem so we can write this as integral of sine x cosine x to the fourth right and this is sine squared of x dx. Sine x cosine x is simply sine of 2x over 2 quantity to the fourth. While sine squared of x, sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. Or that is 1 half of 1 minus cosine of 2 theta or x, right? So, dx. So, this is going to be 2 to the 4th, 16 times 2, that is 32. So, this is going to be 1 over 32 integral of, this is sine to the 4th of 2x, and this is 1 minus cosine of 2x dx. So, bringing this in, we will have here 1 over 32 integral of sine to the fourth of 2x dx minus integral of sine to the fourth of 2x times cosine of 2x dx. Now remember that derivative of sine is cosine u du. So if this sine of 2x is u, 
Your D of U is going to be cosine of 2x times derivative of this times 2 dx. So all we need to do in order for this to become du is multiply this by 2. This one. So to offset that, multiply it also by 1 half. You get it? Okay? So this is already u to the fourth du. Integral of u to the fourth du, that is power formula. You get it? Now this portion is just like our pra example number three. Anyway, I will repeat it again so that we will be refreshed. So therefore, so this portion is integral of u to the fourth du, that is u to the five over five, right? So u is sine of two x. So this portion, if you integrate this one, is going to be one half of integral of u to the fourth du, u to the fifth, sine to the fifth of two x over five. And this is negative, so this is going to be negative one tenth sine to the fifth of two x. Okay? While this portion, let me isolate this. So, the integral of sine to the fourth 2x dx for even power of sine, you just get or express it as power of sine squared. So, this is the same as sine squared of 2x squared dx. So this is equal to sine squared of 2x using this identity sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine twice of angle over 2. So this is 1 minus cosine of twice of this 4x over 2. Quantity squared dx. So the integral of sine to the fourth d 2x dx is equal to we factor out the one half. Okay? So you have one half squared one fourth integral of one minus cosine four x. One minus cosine four x quantity squared dx. So this is going to be equal to one fourth integral of the expansion of this binomial is the square of the first one minus twice their product two times cosine of four x plus square of the second cosine squared four x dx. I will just expand everything before integrating. Huh? So this is going to be 1 fourth integral of, this is equal to 1 fourth integral of 1 minus 2 cosine of 4x, then integral of cosine squared, again even power, this time of cosine. We reduce the exponent by applying this identity. 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. So this is going to be 1 plus cosine twice of this 8x over 2. So that is this identity. dx. This time, we can now integrate this. So this is 1 fourth integral of 1 plus 1 half so this is 3 halves minus 2 cosine of 4x plus 1 half of cosine of 8x, right? So 1 half of cosine of 8x dx. So integrating now, you'll have here 1 fourth of integral of 3 halves dx 
that is 3 halves x minus 2 integral of cosine 4x is sine 4x over 4 plus 1 half integral of cosine 8x that is sine of 8x over over 8. So, simplifying, this is going to be 3 8 of x minus 1 half of sine of 4x plus 1 16 of sine of 8x. So, this is now the integral of this. We now substitute here. You therefore have here this one. Therefore, this integral is going to be 1 over 32. Integral of this, it is 3 8 of x minus 1 half of sine of 4x plus 1 16 of sine of 8x. Then, minus the integral of this. The integral of this, as we said, is minus 1 tenth sine to the fifth of 2x. So, minus 1 tenth sine to the fifth of 2x. So, close quantity, finally, plus C. So, bringing 1 over 32 here, we will have here 3, 32 times 8, 256. So, this is 3 over 256 of x minus this 1 over 64 sine of 4x plus 16 times 32, 512. 1 over 512 sine of 8x minus 32 and 10, 320. 1 over 320 sine to the fifth of 2x plus c. This is going to be the integral of this one.